Hey everyone, Phil here, and today I wanted to share a video that I did with Dennis J. Smith, who is the co-instructor for the ConvertKit email marketing course that we did together and we recently launched. We held a Blab live Q&A session recently where we chatted about email marketing and everything from how to build a great sales funnel, how to create great lead magnets, how to write great email sequences. And we recorded that blab, but the start of it got cut off. So now I just wanted to introduce what the recording was about and how I got into ConvertKit because that's what didn't get recorded. And then I'm going to jump right into the actual recording of the rest of the blab. But first I'm going to let Dennis introduce himself and how he got started with ConvertKit. First of all, I just want to tell you how I started with ConvertKit. I was using MailChimp for my email marketing, which was working well for me in the beginning just to get started with uh, building a list and email marketing in general. And MailChimp allows you to have up to 2,000 subscriber subscribers in what they call their forever free plan. Well, the problem with that is once I got up to 2,000, then you start having to pay for that. And they no longer include autoresponders as part of the free plan. So you don't get that unless you're paying for it. And I was finding that I wasn't really doing as much because it was free. I was just building a list and sending out some emails. And it wasn't very easy to set up autoresponders. Well, I've known about ConvertKit for a while because I know the guy who started it, who was a founder, and that's Nathan Berry. And I live here in Boise, where ConvertKit is located. I met him a few years ago when he was doing ebooks, and I had been following him on Facebook and I saw the success that he was having with eBooks and then I found out that part of that was because he was also creating this wonderful email marketing application for entrepreneurs that we're going to talk about, which is ConvertKit. So I actually made the switch last year in November and started using it and started seeing results. Plus, I love the way that convert kit is laid out you're looking at it right now you're actually seeing my subscribers over the last 30 days and today at this time on april 20th i've had eight subscribers and over the last seven days 118 is a running total over the last 30 days 1032 well this number right here is imports from my last email list from mailchimp to bring over these other ones right here are my book launch, my new website, and the ConvertKit course that Phil and I launched on Udemy. So my list now is over 2,030 subscribers and growing by at least 10 to 20 new subscribers every day. And so we're going to talk about things like sequences and broadcasts and, and um, automation and things like that in the Blab. I want to talk about my sales funnel, how I'm using ConvertKit to funnel people, and, and we'll give you some ideas on how to get people into those funnels in the Blab, and we'll talk about lead magnets, uh, which are things that you can give away to entice people to sign up and give you their email address. So like I was saying that over the last um, few weeks, I've launched a book called Udemy Life, and I was having people uh, sign up for my list by giving them a bonus offer. So at first when I launched it, I was giving them the book for free and then a bonus offer of Udemy courses that I had compiled for them to take for free. And so I was sending them through a sequence and they would go through the sequence and get every three days, the way that I set it up, a list where they would go to my WordPress website, DennisJSmith.com, and be able to look through those courses and click and enroll. And I decided that I wanted to give them uh, one course and then a link so that they could go to my website to send traffic over to my website. And then I could use that to upsell them to other things on my website. So that was with my book, Udemy Live. The other thing that I did is I launched a website called freecoursesdaily.com 
and that was to offer somebody a free course every day in their inbox for 365 days a year. And so my lead magnet, of course, was the opportunity to have a course for free. And that's been generating a lot of signups since I launched that website about two weeks ago. And so that's freecoursedaily.com. And if you go to freecoursedaily.com forward slash freecoursedaily, you can see the landing page that I use from lead pages for people to sign up and see how easy it is to do that. With a book, I use dennisjsmith.com forward slash get Udemy life, all one word, and you can see how I was using it there. Uh, to do that with a course, it's um, onlinecoursecoupons.com forward slash convert kit. And that's another funnel that I was sending people through and giving them email messages on the different things that uh, techniques and stuff like that for email marketing. I've collected these articles over the last several years that I've been doing this. And so I give people the opportunity to get email messages with those courses included, as well as the opportunity to purchase ConvertKit or to purchase the course that I have on ConvertKit. And we'll talk about in the blab the places that you can go to share those links like Twitter and stuff like that. So if you go ahead and watch the blab, Phil and I will talk about all of that stuff and give you an opportunity to sign up for ConvertKit and give you an opportunity to take our course and have some time with us on Skype so that we can help you have the same kind of success that Phil and I have had. So look forward to having you watch that blab and hearing from you if you have any questions. Thank you. So before we get into the blab, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about my story and how I started using ConvertKit. I had been using MailPoet, which is a WordPress plugin for a few years, growing my list on videoschoolonline.com. I had about 4,000 subscribers and I really wasn't making any money from my list. Whenever I promoted a new product or service of mine, I really didn't get any sales. And so later in 2015, I had started hearing about ConvertKit and why big name bloggers like Pat Flynn were converting over to ConvertKit. And Dennis was one of the guys who started using ConvertKit and he was like, Phil, you should just check it out, just test it out. You could actually get a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like it. So just test it out and see if it works for you. I pushed it off, push it off, push it off. But in the beginning of 2016, I really did want to focus on creating new content and promoting that content with email sequences. And so what I did was I told myself, hey Phil, try out ConvertKit, set up your email sequences, see if it works, pay the $29 that it costs to get started. And if it doesn't work out, get your money back and go back to using MailPoet. Well, I created my email sequences, I optimized my landing pages or my opt-in forms, I put them into my website, I swapped those out from what I had previously with MailPoet. Within the first couple of days, I had already made more sales than I had made in the past few weeks and I had paid for the subscription for ConvertKit. I'd made over a hundred bucks. In that first month, I ended up with over a hundred dollars or almost $200 in sales. The second month, it was around 400. The third month, around 500. And now I'm in my fourth month of using ConvertKit and about halfway through the month, I'm already at about $700 or over $700. And so there's no way that I'm going back to using MailPoet. I love ConvertKit because it makes it super easy to create email sequences. It's simple, it's kind of fun. And so it just makes me wanna do it. There's no barrier to me wanting to promote or educate with email anymore. And that's something that I was having problems with when I was using MailPoet. I've tried MailChimp, I've tried, I've looked into Aweber, and while you can do a lot of the same things that you can do with ConvertKit, I just like the layout of ConvertKit, I like how easy it is, and I'm gonna talk more about all of the things that I'm, I love about it in the rest of the blab, um, but that's my story, I love ConvertKit, I suggest you check it out, there's links in the description of this YouTube video to get access to ConvertKit, to sign up, and to our ConvertKit course. Um, but for now, I'm going to pass it over to me and Dennis as we talked in the blab, 
this is where we started talking about lead magnets. It was the first really topic of the blab where we're talking about growing your or building your email, your sales funnel. So we talk about lead magnets. Then we're going to talk about building a sales funnel. We're going to be talking about writing out your emails so that you can make sales on your own website. So thanks for watching so far and I'll pass it over to the blab. Great email lead magnets, I think are our eBooks, PDF guides, uh, free cor online courses, free video series, free podcasts, or any sort of digital product, or even a service. If you offer 30 minutes of free coaching or 15 minutes of free coaching, these are all different types of lead magnets. So if you're running your own business, just think about anything that you can give away for free. If it's something that doesn't tie down your time, it's better. So if you do, if you can put together a digital product quickly, that would be better. It's amazing how what I've been doing for some of my lead magnets lately are when I create a longer blog article, I'll just copy that blog article and I'll put it into a PDF form. And when you visit that blog article, you'll there's an option for downloading the PDF version of this article. And people just like having PDFs. And even though the content's right there on the page, people will sign up just to get the PDF. And now I know that person is interested in that topic. And with ConvertKit, you can tag people depending on what form they come in through as a different type of person. And so if I'm giving away a photography lead magnet or a business building lead magnet or a video production lead magnet, I can tag those people as that type of person. And later on, I can promote to them differently. Um, before I was using ConvertKit a long time ago, one of my lead magnets I tried to use was discounts to my online courses. And so for anyone that signed up for my email list, you could get 50% off for basically all of my courses at that time. And that really didn't work. Um, there were a few people that signed up for the list, but very, very, very few actually used the offer. And I think it's just another barrier to buying that course or to becoming a part of your, your tribe is not only do they have to sign up for your list, but they also have to sign up for a course. And so I switched that up and now I've been offering a free ebook that I wrote about freelancing. I have also with my new courses hosted on teachable on my own site, I offer a free month to basically all of my courses. Um, and that's a cool aspect of using teachable to self host your courses. And since then, I've just been getting a ton of leads. The other thing is that I have all of my free courses hosted with Video School Online. And whenever someone signs up for one of those free courses, they're added to my sequence or to my email list. And that's when I could put them into a sequence and pitch them the premium course after they've signed up for the free course. So right now, what's working for me are the free courses that I have really great lead magnets. Um, we can talk about getting traffic to those lead magnets and how I do that in a bit, but the free courses, the ebook, that's my main lead magnet on the home page of videoschoolonline.com and a free month of all of my premium courses. Yeah, I, I think that that's like one of the, um, I guess another fun thing about doing this kind of stuff is creating those lead magnets or thinking about the kind of lead magnets that you can create. And a lot of people think that or forget that, like, if you have, a, you know, if you have a blog and you've been writing, then you can take some of your best posts, like the ones that are getting the most views, because with WordPress, you can go in and if you've got it connected to what's called the Jetpack plugin, so you can see your statistics or if you're using Google Analytics, you can see what your, your best posts are. Um, if you're a Udemy instructor, you can do something like I do. I use um, an application online that's free and premium. It's called Sumo Me, and it's S-U-M-O-M-E.com. And they have many different ways for you to capture somebody's email address, including my favorite, which is a welcome mat that rolls down over the website and entices somebody to give their email address by giving them an offer, a lead magnet. And so with me, I use my WordPress course and I just offer it for free and put people through a sales funnel 
that offers them tips on WordPress, like great plugins that I use. So I do like, um, a, you know, a soft sell and then I put in some like, well, if you like this course, then I'm an affiliate with um, Udemy so I can offer them other WordPress courses that I've seen or know about that offer them even more information. So that's a lead magnet. Um, I've written uh, my second book and my first book was on social media. It's been out for a while, so it's just a little bit outdated, but I offer it now as a free PDF to join a list of social media uh, advice. So there's just many different ways that you can do that. Phil and I were talking about yesterday about two women who started, it's called Simple greensmoothies.com and this really this story had me really excited and if you know who pat flynn is from smart passive income you can listen to the podcast one of the ladies was on there and i went to starbucks yesterday and listened to that and it's just so interesting their story because it's just like for me uh i was just like wow if i could just replicate even part of this what they were doing is that they were utilizing Instagram, which is very hot right now, and also uh, the website and putting out recipes for smoothies. And so people were like saying, well, do you offer this like in a, a recipe book or whatever? And so basically what they did is they put together a PDF and offered it for $5 and started making lots of money off of that. And I think uh, we had said that they were up to like over two million dollars in yeah. revenue from that and they have they grew their subscriber base in one year from zero to two hundred thousand and if you want to put that into perspective the population of boise idaho is about two hundred and twenty five thousand right now so that means everyone in boise would be on their mailing list and that's huge when you think about the potential of those people not only buying that five dollar pdf but whatever they put out down the road because they've got people who know like and trust mm -hmm. them it's just instant revenue for them it's that amazing was, yeah that was a really amazing story i mean two million dollars from five dollar pdfs five dollar yeah. pdfs and it was not even like a hard sell it was basically they were they have these challenges, these 30 day green smoothie challenges where you could sign up every day you get, or every week you get your recipes. And then they offer at the end of their emails that if you don't want to wait to get your emails every day for, with the recipes, you can just get the kit right now. And you just get the PDF with all the recipes and the shopping list. You would get it anyways, if you waited, but if you want it now, you can pay five bucks. And that is just so easy to do to create it's not it's i can't i'm not gonna say everyone can do that because we'd all be making two million dollars <laughs> by now but the concept is very easy to mm -hmm. create recreate and a lot of it can be done with convertkit the email sequences you could even do you could do the whole thing with convertkit because you could create a landing page with convertkit they have an option for just creating your own landing pages right within convertkit you could then once people are added to that landing page, you get them on a sequence, you offer some sort of challenge, 30 day challenge, five day challenge, and then you can upsell them on a $5 PDF or, or whatever it is. So that's just one idea. And yeah, I think this is a, a good transition into, because you talked about how they really focus on Instagram mm -hmm. for getting people into their leads. We can talk about what other ways uh, we suggest yeah. to get traffic to your to your lead because it's one thing to just put up your lead on your website but how do we get people to that that lead if we don't have an audience yeah uh, you want me to share some of the things that i'm doing sure so one of the things i think i mentioned to you yesterday was or, or maybe the, i forget <laughs> i talked to so many people tweet jukebox is one that i use now i use hootsuite and many people are probably familiar with hootsuite and that is just a way for you to um, send a tweet to multiple channels. So you might have Facebook and you might have Twitter and possibly, I know that I just logged on today and they have a new YouTube connection with uh, Hootsuite. 
my frustration though with Hootsuite is that I want to set things on some kind of schedule. So I always call it like um, like set it and forget it type strategy. So with Tweet Jukebox, I can put in a tweet and connect it to I have like two or three different Twitter accounts, and that tweet will go out on the schedule that I set it to go out on. So it might be every five hours every day, every two weeks, and I can put the time and I can add a photo. And so that's one of the ways that I'm putting these uh, links to where my landing pages are. And I'm seeing great success with that. I do it on Facebook. On Facebook, uh, if you search for advertise for free, there are so many groups that have thousands of people who are part of that group that allow you to just share anything. Now it could be hit or miss, but if you've got something good and offer that's good and it's an image that stands out, you can certainly, you know, give that a try. Quotes work really well on Facebook and same thing with Instagram uh, and you know, blogging, putting out a blog post or something like that uh, would be another thing. I mean, there's probably other things that I do. Oh, you know, the one thing that I do just real quick is I put out my book, Udemy Life, on Amazon. And if you're an author, one of the things that I didn't do in my first book was that the first 10% of your book, Amazon has what's called Look Inside. And so you want to put things in that first 10%, like a link. I have a bonus offer, uh, 100 free Udemy courses in your inbox and uh, get, uh, get the bonus offer. And I am seeing people signing up. Even if they don't buy the book, they still can click on it because it's the first 10% of the book that they show. So that's just another way that you can get people to um, sign up and join your mailing list. That's great. So you mentioned blog articles, Amazon eBooks, and including links in the first 10%. Um, you mentioned Twitter, using something like Tweet Jukebox to have it repeat, and then just normal social media, like posting on Facebook and and we Instagram from the Simple Green Smoothie Ladies. Um, what I'm using mostly is YouTube. And I am just posting a ton of content to YouTube with that content. I have links to my lead magnets, whatever it is, whether it's a free course or my homepage. And that goes at the top of my YouTube descriptions. I add my card, YouTube cards and annotations. I'm just going to post a link in the chat for people to see an example. This is, this is a direct promotion of one of my online courses, but for all of my, my videos, I typically try to add a link to a free course that is related to the video that I'm posting. So you can check this out and just see how I add the cards and the links at the top mm -hmm. of the description. You'll notice that I have the link to the free mini course and a link to the full course in the YouTube description. But I start out with the free course because it's a step, it's a leap for someone to trust me and just purchase the course directly. I'd rather get them to sign up for the free course. They could test out the course, see what it has to offer, and then I can pitch them the full course. And if they really like me and the way that we're teaching the course, they'll buy it. So let me just post this here. And I just looked at my analytic, analytics. Um, over the past 30 days, I've had over 300... Oops. Oh, there's our video and it's playing. So you'll did, see this is my. I did, forgot about this. this kind of cool. I didn't. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see. Yeah. So I got Will Ferrell on there. A little clip promoting Ooh, my. I love this. Course. So, so anyways, you can see this and I don't know if you can see me clicking, but you can click in the top right of the YouTube video. You can click that little eye icon and that's the, um, that's where the YouTube cards pop up and you'll get links to the free mini course and the premium course. And just in the past month, I've had over 350 annotation clicks and 352 people click the little card icons. And so that's like 600 people that have at least gone to my website. They not necessarily signed up for the free course, but that's like 
you know, 600 people in the past month getting to my website because of YouTube, potentially signing up for a free lead magnet. So that's, that's pretty awesome, I think. Um, and with all of this, I would say that you want to, it's great to do everything, but it's probably worth your while to just try to focus on one or two of these things. Dennis knows that I'm not the best at Facebook. While I would love to be able to do everything, and maybe someday I'll be able to hire someone to help me out and do Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitter, everything. <laughs> I can't do that on my own. And I think you'll have more success if you really focus on one area. And I think the simple green smoothie ladies keep being brought up because it's in both of our heads, but they mm -hmm. just focus on Instagram. And they said they just focus on Instagram. They didn't want to focus on Facebook or anywhere else. And that's partly why they had so much success. So yeah, YouTube's what's working. I also do blog articles and everything like that, but YouTube is the best thing for me right now. Yeah, and you know, like with Thurs, they might like eventually, because now that they're bringing in this kind of income, then it might allow them to, you know, maybe branch out and start using um, Facebook or something like that. But they focused on on one thing and, you know, Instagram is hot. Um, Snapchat is another thing people might want to look at because I know there's some stuff going on with with that app and I've used it a little bit myself. It's mostly each of these applications all have their different audience. So think about like what your audience is. Your audience might be better for Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat. So you'll want to think about that kind of stuff when you're coming up with um, a plan to market your courses or your book or whatever it is that you're doing. I mean, there's so many different things that you can use email marketing for. And if you're, if you're somebody who's in a brick and mortar store or something like that and watching us, same thing. I mean, this is not just online. Uh, you know, like one of the things that I had heard about, and this kind of goes back to MailChimp, is taking uh, a tablet, uh, Android tablet, which are cheap these days, like sometimes under $50, and have something like that at, at the front of your, your business or when you're going out somewhere and somebody could just, you know, sign up for your mailing list through an app in your tablet. So, I mean, yeah. there's just many different ways or many different things that you can do. So, so yeah. So, um, let's see. So, we've talked about um, what ConvertKit is, uh, email marketing for entrepreneurs. And it's ConvertKit.com. So, you can poke around there more or you can use the... Uh, resources uh, PDF that I put together that has links to uh, where to go to uh, sign up for our course, which we'll talk about at the end, and where to sign up for ConvertKit if that you think that it's something that's going to work well for for what you're doing, and about how it does all of these cool things with sequences and broadcast messages and all of that. We talked about how Phil got his start using MailPoet, and then I convinced him to come over to MailChimp, or excuse me, ConvertKit. I looked at MailChimp because that's where I started and I switched to ConvertKit. So we talked about some of these um, lead magnets. And now I guess we'll probably, after we talked about some of these ideas on how to get somebody to your funnel, uh, Phil, why don't you go ahead and and did we, we didn't talk about that, did we? Yeah, yeah, we just talked about <laughs> using YouTube and social media and all that. So. I think we should t maybe move on to email sequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's okay. That's what I was thinking in my mind because I was like thinking about like talking about how easy it is to, to set that up. So why don't you go ahead and start with that? Yeah, perfect. And I'm going to post a picture, another picture that I just uploaded really quickly for people to check out. Um, now, before I do that, everyone can do this with a lot of different programs. You can use Aweber, MailChimp, MailPoet, whatever. But I just want to show you how ConvertKit makes it so easy. So let me post this link and you can open up this image once it pops in. Oh. This is a screenshot of the ConvertKit dashboard when you are creating a new email sequence. And what's amazing is that it's already laid out for you. So you can see on the left that you have your list of emails that they suggest you doing in order. And so it goes from introducing your content or welcoming them to your list, 
it has an educational message, another educational message. You start to softly sell or pitch your product, more education, and then you do your hard sell. And what I love about this is because is that they've kind of made this a science. And so they've, like we said, Nathan Barry himself, who created this, has done millions in sales uh, with using email sequences. And so he's kind of made a science of this. And so all you need to do is go in this and plug in your own content. And that's what I did. And it just, you can drag and drop these messages. You can add messages around. You can, like I mentioned before, you can create a sequence like this, and then you can easily duplicate it. There's all the options for when you want to send it, how often, uh, what time you want to send it at. Um, you can customize it to an extent with images, um, adding your own, I guess, customizing with a header or footer. What they found though, is that emails convert better when they're more simple. And while I think there's two sides of it and people will argue, oh, well, I want to have this fancy template with, with a box and images and yada, yada. They would argue and they've proven that just text-based emails actually convert better. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why you have this like simple template. You can kind of customize it your own way. Um, but yeah, so this is how you can create sequences. They give you the order. I'm going to find a, a screenshot of one of the sequences that I've created that's working well for me. But while I do that, maybe Dennis, you can talk about um, what other, whatever what you're doing or any other advice for creating an email sequence. Yeah. So, I mean, like as far as like headers and footers, the things that I've done is I've put in like a logo to whatever I'm doing. I have a new website called freecoursedaily.com. And so I went out to Fiverr and had somebody design me a logo and I've dropped that in the top of the email. And ConvertKit, just the cool thing about ConvertKit is, is that constantly sending out blog posts to let you know like how to uh, do better sequences, how to write better emails, how to write a better headline. They even have like a link right next to the headline that you can click on to give you information on which headlines work well at getting people to open the email so you have better open rates because that's, I mean, that's where you first start at is getting somebody to open the email and then click on a link that you have inside the email. They just released a new template that I like, and I was telling Phil about it, that's a, a modern look to it. And it has the ability to give you the code to put in the uh, social media buttons to Facebook and your Twitter account. And I even took a Udemy logo and linked it to my Udemy courses. So if somebody gets curious and clicks on it, it'll take them right to the courses that I teach. But um, as far as like myself, I've created so many different sequences, like just as an example for the free course daily, I mean, it's unlimited amount. Like, so the sequence, there's no limit on it. So I've got where I'm gradually building what will be 365 different messages. and you know, I just go in and I create it and I just copy and paste it into the next one, type in the subject line for it, um, make a few settings and then uh, change it from draft to publish and save and I'm done. Yeah, it makes it so easy. I'm going to post a couple images. Here's the first one. And um, this is a sample. This is a more simplified version of one of their sequences. This is when someone signs up for my kinetic typography crash course. They get a, as soon as they sign up, they get a welcome message and it just has a basic link to the course content for them to get started. And then I follow it up with three more educational or inspirational emails. And I kind of differentiate that educational and inspirational they're they're the same type you're not selling your products but educational is like here is more resources here's more information that will help you you don't even have to recreate create anything new you can actually repurpose uh, your some blog articles if you've written blog articles in the past and basically just tell people hey this is a blog article i wrote that you'll find interesting because these people that are being added to your list now probably haven't seen that blog article that you posted a year ago or three years ago. 
And so repurposing that kind of material or YouTube videos is a great way to add content to your email sequences. In terms of my inspirational emails, I like to, whatever I'm teaching with the free course, I like to have some sort of inspirational video that shows what you can do with those skills. It's a very, very, very soft sell. I'm not saying you have to enroll in the premium course to be able to do this. I'm just showing you a cool video that you can create with these skills. And that I think starts to get them thinking about, oh, wow, this is cool. I want to be able to do that. So when I follow it up with my pitch, with my hard sell saying, hey, enroll in the premium course and you'll learn all these skills. I'm hoping that in the back of their mind, they've seen the educational content, they've seen the inspirational content that I've sent them, and they really want to take action and make that purchase. And these sequences have been working with me, uh, for me. And let me just show, I'm also going to take a screenshot of my, the open rate for these sequences, because it's really, mm -hmm. really crazy how much different higher the open rate and the click rate for these sequences are compared to when i was using MailPoet, and i don't know necessarily why i don't know if it's something to do with just the simplicity of convertkit or just the fact that i was inspired by <laughs> using convertkit to do something better but let me just upload this link to imager and i'm going to share it to you guys I'm i know for you people watching I, I know if people are watching this in the future, I don't think you will be able to see any of these links that we're posting. Um, I hope so. But... I hope that Blab records it. I, I would think it's just like somebody, a person being in that square. So I'm hoping that maybe, so. yeah. So anyways, this is just a, a, all, a few of my different sequences. You can see the different number of subscribers in these sequences. And you can see open rates of 40, almost fi over 50% for some click rates of 10%. That usually my open rates were around 10% for a lot of my sequences before or my emails before. And so having an open rate of around 50% or 40% on average, I think is pretty good, pretty dang good. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I was asking um, Nathan, uh, who we talked about earlier, who is the founder of ConvertKit. And he, I, I don't have those to share, but those rates like are pretty low and I've seen my rates a lot higher than that average. So that's the thing that I like, because like I was saying is that you first have to get somebody to open the message and then you've got to write the message in a way that you can entice somebody to click on your offer and convert them into a buyer and that therefore the name convert kit. So. Yeah. And it's really interesting. I was talking to uh, Dave Espino, who I co-host my uh, passive income show with every week. And we were talking about email marketing um, last week. And he made a good, a really good point about how with everything related to selling a product, it's all about getting someone to that very next step. And mm -hmm. so it starts with someone visiting your website or seeing some part of your, some content of yours, whether it's on social media or YouTube or your website you're introducing yourself to them and the next step you want is to get them to sign up for your list or the lead magnet really it's not you you're not selling them a product right away so you have to like slowly get them into that list with that lead magnet and then once they have that email that lead magnet you're sending them these emails and the next step isn't really to necessarily sell your product the next step is to get them to a page where they can buy your product. And this isn't, it depends on what you're selling, but with online courses, really with your emails, you're trying to get them to go to that landing page where, or your sales page is for your course. So if you're selling a Udemy course and you're sending out emails, pitching that Udemy course, your email isn't just buy my course right now. It's, hey, this is some great information about why this course is awesome. And you can find out more information about the course on the course page. And once they get to that course page, you let that page do the selling. You have your promo video, you have your, your, your content, your write, your description and your tags and taglines and everything. And that sells your course. And it's the same with whatever products you're selling 
online. Uh, it's a very slow pro process. And I think it works better when it, when it is that slow process of massaging someone into, into that purchase and not just a direct sale. You can do direct sales, but I think the slow process works a little bit better. Awesome. So, hmm, I was like looking at um, multitasking here and thing about like Blab is that I've got a tab for Blab, tab for the other stuff that we're talking about, looking at my information all at the same time. But I just wanted to make sure that we've covered everything and it looks like that um, we have. And I'm glad that yeah. we have the slides too, because I've never thought about that, that cause that was like one of the things that Blab is lacking is the ability to share your screen so people can see things in real time. And so I'm glad that you had those, Phil. I literally have been just taking screenshots as we do this <laughs> and thought about it after we started. See, you're great so. at multitasking then. So I, I just kind of want to recap like what we've talked about and then see if um, we have some questions. Yeah, I think you can share your screen with Blab, but that's something that's uh, like brand new. Um, and I haven't like looked at like learning that yet, but it's not as simple as something like uh, Google Hangouts, like clicking a button, but I'm sure it's coming. But- oh, uh, I'll have to figure that out. So yeah, so we, so we talked about uh, what ConvertKit is, email marketing for entrepreneurs and, and Phil has shown you some slides, like how easy it is to do some of these things like sequences. You can integrate it with things like WordPress. There is a plugin for WordPress so that you can select which form that you want to display and how that form displays. So it might be in line in the blog post and it might be as simple as just an email address or it might be a little more complex, like where I put an image in there. It can also be a pop-up. So when somebody tries to exit the page, it'll pop up and ask them, would you like to subscribe so you can get more information like this in the future? Um, so it does that. And then the landing pages are really cool. If you wanna see like what a, a landing page looks like, if you go to dennisjsmith.com forward slash get Udemy life, That'll show you like the landing page that I created for a new book so that I could market it in many different ways. So we also talked about how Phil uh, came over from Poet and how I came over from MailChimp and uh, how I told him about this. And we talked about sales funnels, like how to get people into these funnels and through lead magnets and how to get traffic to that lead magnet from places like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, your blog articles. Also, we didn't mention if you're a Udemy instructor, your bonus lecture, your very last lecture in your Udemy course, you can direct somebody to uh, your website. There's nothing in the, if you type in Udemy bonus lectures in Google, it'll take you to a link for Udemy's policy on that and they say that you can do this kind of stuff and a lot of instructors aren't taking advantage of that and then phil just showed you how great uh email sequences are one of the things that i don't think that he mentioned is that when you're in there you have those tabs that you can drag and drop and you can also change the date so if you wanted to send right away you can change it to zero you can change it to three days later five days so you tell it like how many days after the last message and you can also click on reports so as those start going out for each message you can see how they're performing and i I check those all the time because if I'm seeing that the open rate isn't as much for one as it is on others, then I start thinking about, well, let's go look at that message and see how I've got that written. And why aren't people clicking on the link in this one as much? So you can go back and maybe adjust your message. So that's one of the cool things uh, that I like with um, ConvertKit, how it does that and how it does that so simple. That link right here that we have up is a link of resources, but um, I, I think like, but like before we uh, finish up, maybe see if you have some questions about it. Uh, you know, we'd love to answer your questions about ConvertKit. You can do forward slash Q and then a space and then your question and that'll flag it so that we know or if you're someone if you're comfortable with coming 
uh, on live camera, we can do that. We can open up the seat and let you do that. Uh, while we're doing that, um, if you're interested, if you think that ConvertKit is something that you would like to give a try, Phil and I, we talked about that we have a course on Udemy that we created. And for those of you who are here with us on the webinar today, that are the blab to, uh, there is a link in there for a coupon for you to take the course for just $50. And as an added bonus, Phil or I will jump on Skype with you. And I think that we have that at, at 30 minutes of Skype time so that we can help you do things like importing from another list or getting it set up. Or if you have a question about how sequences work, or if you just want some advice on email marketing in general, we can do that. If you uh, click on the link in there and take the course and sign up for ConvertKit. So Phil has talked about that when he started, he started at $29 and I've talked about that they do have a 30 day return uh, on there. So if you're not happy with it, you can return it or not return it, but you can say, I don't want it. And like I was saying, you can export the information that you've gathered into something else that works better for you. But I honestly believe that if you try out ConvertKit and you start using it like Phil and I have, you're not gonna wanna go back to something else. Pat Flynn, Smart Passive Income, he uses it. And Pat Flynn, like out in the online marketing and passive income circles, is like one of the top uh, leaders there. And the last thing that I think I wanted to say is also that Phil and I are also going to chip in and we're going to pick one person. If you sign up, we're going to pick one individual and pay for their first month. So if you sign up for that $29 plan and you stay with ConvertKit, then we'll cover that month for you and you can use it to pay for the next month because they do bill you when you sign up right off. But like I said, if after 30 days, if you're not satisfied with it, uh, then you can say no more. And that also gives you enough time to take the course, which by the way, I, I just wrote down some numbers. We have 2,700 people who are taking our ConvertKit course on Udemy right now. We have 12, and this course has only been out for a few weeks. We have 12 um, five-star reviews and you can go into that link and look at some of the reviews that are coming in. And I love seeing those because I'm seeing other people who are like, wow, it's like, I, I didn't realize something like this is out there for me to use. Yeah, super great. So, and I think what we're gonna do, so for everyone here that wants to sign up for the for ConvertKit and the class, in the next 24 hours, we're gonna pick randomly one person to pay for the first month. And we'll announce that on your, um, Udemy, everything Udemy Facebook group, and we'll email you them. Uh, anything Udemy. So if you search for anything Udemy, that's my group that, that I have for instructors who want to post coupons and, and market and all of that, but we will post who it is that we pick. So all you need to Great. do is download or, or click on this page that I have set up with the PDF. There's also several links that I've included because I like to collect articles that I like. So I've got some great tips on email marketing in general, as well as links to Phil's course. Phil, Phil's got a lot of great courses out there. Um, my courses that I have out there on uh, Udemy. And then uh, what else is there? I'm like, oh, and our, and our websites, which mine is DennisJSmith.com. And if, Phil, you can go ahead and let them know where to find you online. Yeah, and you can find me at videoschoolonline.com. That's my home pay, base for my online business or philebener.com. But I just wanted to say that I think a lot of the information that we're sharing today is information that you might have heard before. It's stuff that I heard hundreds of times before from many, many different type people. But hopefully you kind of get the gist of how the whole process works now. And all it takes for you is now is to take action and actually do it. And whether you're using ConvertKit or not, you can implement all the things that we're talking about. But I think ConvertKit just makes it a lot easier. 
And I'll just recap for people who are joining new or joined a little bit later in the blab that when I tried convert fit kit for the first time, I told myself, I'm not going to use this if it doesn't work for me and I'm going to get my money back because you have a 30 day money back guarantee. But as soon as I put in my sequences, as soon as I created my lead magnets and started putting that information out on YouTube and on my website, it's paid me back tenfold and then some because it just works way, way easy for me. And so, I mean, this is a pretty sweet deal that we're going to give someone a free first month because it mm -hmm. gives you the opportunity to try it out. If you don't end up continuing with ConvertKit, um, you can get your money back, but yeah, we're going to be able to see, we'll see who signs up through for ConvertKit through the link. Uh, we can see people who sign up for the course. And uh, like we said, if you do both of those things, we're going to give you free Skype time to help get you set up. And if you want to follow up with us one-on-one -on -one about any of the topics and we can look at your website, we can see what you're trying to sell and we can give you tips and advice for what you should be doing. And that's just invaluable support. Um, and it, it's really, I mean, free that we're going to give you that because you're only paying 15 bucks for the course you're paying yeah. for a convert kit, which starts at $29. And I, I honestly, honestly believe that if you do the things that we've done, it's going to pay yourself back um, soon. Somebody had asked like, what if you don't have anything to sell yet? Well, that's a good question. If you go in and take the course and get convert kit, you've got the Skype call. And I can tell you that I've sat on Skype calls with other instructors and I've been I, I mean, I have so much experience in my past with all of these different jobs that I've had from a store manager, a retail store manager working in call centers, working for HP, T-Mobile and all of that. I've got so many ideas out there that just by talking to someone that I could probably give them a couple of ideas on what they could sell. And as long as, as you put that to work, then you'll be able to find something to sell and start creating a list out there. Yeah, and it's so important to start building your list right now. We should have been building our list yesterday mm -hmm. for everyone out there. Even if you don't have anything to sell right now, it's totally fine because as you start to build your list, you're gonna have people to sell your future products too. And your email list isn't just to sell a product. We have to think if you're starting out, you if you have a website, if you have any sort of online presence, you should be building your own email list so that potentially you can sell to them in the future. So for people who don't have a product right now, you're gonna be able to sell your product more later if you can start to build your list and you can, you can still give out free lead magnets, you can still create some sort of free simple product, uh, promote that on YouTube, social media, and with your website and build that list so that when you do sell, you have people to sell it to. So yeah, I think that's yeah. important to know too. There's so many things that you can create, you know, as you were talking about that, I was like looking at the link that we have up and that's to onlinecoursecoupons.com. I started off as a Udemy instructor in 2014 and the way that my mind thinks is like, what else can I, I do? And I wanted a way to help other Udemy instructors to be able to promote their courses in different parts of the internet. So I came up with this idea, uh, went and signed up for a Udemy affiliate account and then created online course coupons. And I thought, okay, when an instructor comes in, I will collect their email address so that I can give them advice and stuff like that. And then I created one buck course coupons.com and Udemy changed their policies. So I thought, okay, well, that's not going to be any longer. So what can I do now? So I came up with freecoursedaily.com, which I use ConvertKit for to send out a free course every day in somebody's inbox because they're out there. So why not? It's like, I'm doing the legwork at letting people know, here's a course that you can take for free on, on Udemy. And that's just stuff that I keep it, it inventing as time goes by. So it, there's just so many different things out there that you can use it for. And the, the link that we provided there will take you to uh, ConvertKit, 
so you can take a look at it a little bit more and see some of these things that maybe we didn't get to talk about today. And then you can sign up, you can see their different prices, but I recommend that you just start with the very basic. And then as your list grows, you can, you know, just the, you know, it's the price changes as your list grows, but it takes a while for that to happen. And then um, take the course that Phil and I put together. I start off telling you all of the different sections in ConvertKit that we didn't cover. And then Phil starts talking about these lead magnets and sales funnels. And I chime in with what I'm doing on my sales funnel. And you can see it real time on your screen. And there's even money back guarantee with Udemy courses. So if you take the course and it's just like, you know, I don't think that really that's no. going to happen. <laughs> it's really, really no risk at all. And yeah. I mean, with all of my courses, I always say if there's anything we're missing, tell us because we'll add it and we'll improve the course to make sure that it's the best course for you. Um, and yeah, I think I, we talked about um, doing the $5 PDF sort of business plan that the Simple Green Smoothies smoothie ladies did. And I have a big plan that I've been in, inspired the past few days and I'm feverishly working on. And so <laughs> I'm excited to get that up and running in the next few weeks. And I'm going to be pitching it. I'm not going to talk about it right now because it's still in the works, but yeah. if you follow me on video, scroll online, you'll, you'll see it in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be, if it's what I think he's talking about, it's going to be amazing because I was in on the discussion yesterday and that's like, you, you know, um, one of the things that I would recommend is that if you've never participated in a mastermind group for whatever interest that you have, ours happens, our common connection is you to me. And so we have this mastermind group that we were having every week, but we stopped for a while and we had one yesterday and then we continued, a few of us continued on with a conversation, but Phil gave me a, a great idea that I started, I, I went to Starbucks yesterday and started working on it with some other stuff. And I'm like, I got to get this out. I got to get this out, you know, because it's such a great idea to, it goes in line with some of the other stuff that I'm doing. I want to just like, before we go, I wanted to put this link in here and I'll post it. I should have posted it over here off to the messages. That's that yeah, simple that's green good. smoothie. Listen to that podcast. And I recommend that you follow Pat Flynn if you have an interest in passive income like we do. Uh, and Phil definitely, like and with Dave, have the passive uh, income show here on Blab. So I would definitely follow them and follow Matt and I with Make Money Online because we always, we're all bringing people who are doing this stuff to our shows so that they can talk and share their ideas. Like tomorrow on, on Matt and I are having Chris Greenwood, um, who is a musician in Canada and he has courses on Udemy and he's making over $4,000 a month with courses to teach other musicians how to market their music online because it's not these big bands out there, you know, the, those big bands already have stuff going on, but these little bands that play in bars and travel around the Pacific Northwest or California or whatever. So he's on with us. I, I actually did some consulting with him and gave him some ideas, but he's going to be a guest. And I love it when people share that kind of information, just like Pat Flynn does there. So make sure that you check out the Smart Passive Income. Yeah. And I think I just had two more things to add about all of this. And one is just on that topic of like you bringing in this guy who's a musician and us teaching this right now about using ConvertKit. Well, it's great to see that Pat Flynn is using ConvertKit because he's the guy that a lot of people look up to for what types of tools we should use. And he makes a lot of money using ConvertKit and selling products and affiliate doing affiliate sales and everything. But I think it's better to listen to people like De Dennis and myself who we're kind of new to this, but at the same time, we're like in the weeds with you guys. We're like mm -hmm. working on it right now. And it's, you can kind of see that it's not out of reach. It, looking at Pat Flynn is great, but when you see that he's making a hundred thousand dollars a month, it's like, <laughs> that seems kind of crazy. But Dennis and I started using ConvertKit in the past year we're making hundreds of dollars a month now. And that's something that you guys can do um, easily, easily if you put 
your effort into it. And then the last thing was that what, what Dan is talking about, you know, doing his project uh, yesterday at Starbucks, I think with all these project, projects that I have in my mind and everything that I want to do, the last thing I want to worry about is figuring out the technical side of how to do it, especially with email marketing. And that was something that was always difficult before using ConvertKit. And mm -hmm. I think by this point, you know that I like ConvertKit, um, but ConvertKit just makes it easy and I don't have to worry about that side of it at all. And that's really in the end why I love it because whatever project idea that I have come to my, my mind, whatever product or service that I want to sell later on, the whole email marketing and sales funnel part of it is taken care of. It's easy for me to do now. Yeah. Great. I, I, it's for me, like you said, I have so many ideas floating around in my head and it's so cool to have these tools like WordPress and convert kit, some of them free, some of them premium, but you have, it's, it's affordable to do this kind of stuff. And like you said, I was at Starbucks. Well, I also took a road trip last year to the coast and just go around with your laptop, connect with the Wi-Fi, and run your business on the go. And these tools allow you to do that. Before we go, I just want to say that I was an idiot at the beginning and I forgot to do, I should put a post-it. I forgot to start recording at the very beginning, but Oh. But we we talked at the very beginning, we were just talking about like where people were from and all of that. And then oh. we talked a little bit about a little bit about ConvertKit. You can go to convertkit.com and get a lot of good information there. And then I kind of went back and recapped stuff because Phil and I had talked about where we came from before with Phil using MailPoet and myself using MailChimp, which is a free forever plan, but then you have to start paying once you hit 2000 subscribers. And one thing to bring up too, before we go with that, with MailChimp, every list that you have, if Joe Smith signs up for list A, B, C, D, he's counted as four people, even though he's the same person. With ConvertKit, you can have people signing up for multiple list and they're only counted as one and that's important because with mailchimp you could hit that 2000 cap quicker and then have to start paying and keep paying those higher weights because somebody's on your multiple lists and convert kit doesn't do that to you so that's uh one cool thing so so yeah so like uh, when we started talking about sales funnels and all of that all of the good stuff is, is recorded for you to come back and watch the recap of this if you would like. Hopefully you took notes and maybe Phil and I will come in again and maybe a couple, you know, two or three months down the road and give you a recap on where we're at. Like right now, I said, I just um, passed, I have convert up on my screen right now. And as we speak, I've got, uh, let's see. So for today, I'm just doing a quick refresh here and and I see how many. So, I, so just the time that we've been talking went from five to eight signups. And over the last seven days, 118. I can tell you that a lot of people don't even get 118 subscribers in their list in one month. And over the last That's 30 amazing. days, 1,032 is the running total. Now, I did have 300 that more that I imported from MailChimp from a larger list there, but I'm done like importing from, from MailChimp and I don't do much with MailChimp anymore. So I have over 2,000 subscribers uh, since I started you know, doing this. And most of those came from like just the last month from launching a book, a new course and starting a new website. And, and you guys can do the same. So I hope that you'll definitely take the time to take a look at it, consider taking the course and signing up so that you get the uh, time with Phil and I on Skype. So I want to thank everybody for taking time out of their day for joining us. That's great. And yeah, just to recap, Go through that link that we have posted with our resources, get access to the course, get access to ConvertKit. And if you do that, you get free Skype time with us. And in the next 24 hours, we're going to pick, if whoever does that, we're going to pick one person at random and pay for the first month of ConvertKit. 
for them. Yeah. Awesome. So. All right. Are we ready to wrap it up? I think so. Okay. So it's like, I always forget, like, if I should like state, like close you out. And so that I can close myself out and, and do the whole processing of the replay for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you just close it out. I'll say bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for coming. I really enjoyed the time here with you guys. <laughs> yeah, thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks, Phil.